Hello and well, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about fast view. What in the world is fast view? Well, that's a localizer which gives you the option to either have a localizer for the whole body, half of the body. The good thing about this is that you get it in the whole coronal plane, transversal plane, and sagittal plane. So it's both fast, easy to work with if you know how to use it. So we're going to dive into this topic today and I will show you a few tips and tricks there. Without further ado, stick around. For those who are new, my name is Backman again. I'm an MRI with Agrofer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. And for those who've been here before, thanks for coming back and uh, tuning in on my channel and check out my things. Very appreciate it. To be honest with you guys, I haven't been using fast view localizer so much because I already have localizer which I'm happy with but sometimes I need uh, an overview of this area or that area but with the fast view localizer you get an overview of the whole body of interest so it's both easy to use if you know how to use it and that's why I wanted to make this video because I want to show you a few tips and tricks regarding that so without further ado let's go to the scanner and I will show you all right, we are currently at Magnetone 3T, but how do you know if you have it or not? Let me show you. The first thing you can do is to go to uh, there, the protocols, and just write fast view. So if you have it, it will be available as this. So let's go to peripheral and geography, and you can see we have here the test bolus, cables, advanced cables. So we just open that one. There you go. You have the fast view localizer right there, and it also says in the Siemens tree that. Feet first, position 20 centimeter or 7 inch above the feet, uh, which is the ISO center. And I will explain to you why. So let's continue right here. We're going to drag and drop this sequence and we're going to run it. And you can see how it works uh, at the scanner. So it gives you an overview from uh, the ISO center up to the area of your interest. This is an area you choose by yourself. And uh, what I mean about the uh, the only place we get in the coronal, transversal, and sagittal, we get the whole area of interest in transversal plane. So this is, is uh, good to have because sometimes if you create your own localizer and your your interest is specific regions, let's say it's at the hip right here and you don't have transversal plane slices which cover that specific area, but with this localizer, you have it from top to bottom, you have it all. So it already time savings right there. So we can go up there and we can see it in the transversal plane whenever you're going to do a, a positioning your, your planes. So this, this was directly from Siemens, so I will try to explain to you now. Okay, as you can see here, the range is dot F250 millimeter. So that means that feet first, right? Feet first. And I had the ISO center around the laser light around here. So it says, so whenever the ISO center is right there, it starts towards the feet 250 millimeters, so it starts around there. So if you have your isocenter right there, it starts around 250 millimeter towards your feet. So that's what is meant by the this uh, description uh, whenever you're taking the protocol. And feet to head, uh, 1450 millimeter, that's the range you want to image. So you, you can adjust this range if you only want to have to the hip. I can just drag and drop this, I'll show you later. So let's put zero. Zero means it goes up there. Why so? It's because I did my isocenter right there. That's why zero it's right there. If I put the isocenter there, zero will be here. So that's why it looks a little bit strange. And it will start right there. Which is also strange. I want to start, I want to have the whole feet right. So I need to understand these two settings. And you can see here now I have the opportunity to drag my area of interest lower or higher and save the protocol like that so i know each time whenever i'm starting my localize i would have from here to here around that uh, it also depends on the length the patience of course but you can see the sequence itself is very minimal with the parameters to adjust it says the table speed here is 46 millimeter per second and there's not not much you can adjust here Okay, let's move on and let's do another test. Right now, I want to reposition my ISO center and put the, the starting range at zero. And let's see if it works. So let's put it at zero right there. And you can see my ISO center is now at the feet. 
whenever I'm putting isosand, I wanted to start like that. I don't want it to go feet towards the feet 250 or so. I want to start exactly where I'm positioning the patient. Let's see if it works. It seems to be working. So my isosand is down here like I showed. And it's, it's, it's working as well. So uh, whenever building a protocol, I would definitely use zero uh, right here because I wanted to start spot on whenever I'm using my isosand at zero. So let's now try again. We're going to try now covering from the top of the head to the toe. So you see I'm stretching my, my toe field of view here. Just stretching it and it's around that. I think my, the ankle, yeah, I got it covered right there. So it's covering the whole body, all coronal, all uh, transversal and all sagittal. That's, that's very cool. You can see I have the opportunity to scroll right here. Transverse all the way, which is awesome, right? It's a great overview and it's fast. Well, that's it, guys. I hope this video was valuable for you. Uh, before we close up, I do have a question for you. Do you use FastView Localizer? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. Uh, until next time, catch up with you. Peace out.